guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Madison Hill and I am so happy and thankful that you stumbled across my page and this YouTube video. For today's video, I'm going to show you my favorite summer sips, AKA all the things that I will be sipping on and drinking on this summer, especially given this long holiday weekend. There will be some mocktails, so if you're not into cocktails, don't fret, I got you covered as well. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys how to do, this is one of my favorite summer drinks, is a mandarin orange vodka press. Okay, in order to make your mandarin orange vodka press, you need absolute mandarin orange vodka, you need some sort of sparkling water. I love Topo Chico. Oh, Topo Chico is just literally the best. It's more fizzy than other sparkling waters. It comes in a bunch of different flavors. It also is just so delicious, whether you're drinking it in a mixed drink or just plain. But for this drink, we wanna go ahead and make sure we get plain Topo Chico and either Sprite or Fresca. I'm using Sprite today. And for your garnish, you wanna make sure that you have an orange wedge. So you're gonna take a glass of Ice. Go ahead and squeeze your orange in there. Boom, it did get a little crazy, but that's fine. We're gonna put that in there. Then we're going to measure an ounce of vodka. If you like, um, you know, it a little stronger, then you can go a little more. I think I'm gonna go for an ounce and a half. Okay, I did like an ounce and a quarter. I measure, I know some people don't, but I don't want a glug, glug, glug situation. Two shots of vodka. So ounce to an ounce and a half of your mandarin orange vodka. Then we're gonna take our Topo Chico. A Disney bottle opener is obviously mandatory to make this drink. I'm just kidding, it's not. Then you're gonna fill this up three quarters of the way. So see, we got our orange squeeze, we got our vodka. Now we're gonna fill this up about three quarters of the way. Like so. Then you're gonna take your Sprite or your Fresca. This is my handy dandy tip so I don't, you know, break a nail and then you're just gonna top it off. Give it a mix. I guess if I have to taste it. This is literally, do you hear that? A little ASMR. This is literally summer in a cup for me, Mandarin Orange Vodka Press. It's refreshing, it's not too sweet, it's crisp, and it is just the thing you need that even if you're quarantined inside, it'll still make you feel like it's definitely summer. Mm. On to the next drink that I love this summer. This is something that's super easy and you don't really need to make. We love an easy situation. Golden Road Champagne Go. I freaking love Golden Road and this new product that they have is amazing. Now, it includes their Mango Cart beer, which is one of the few beers that I like. It's kind of like a way better seltzer, if you will. It is inspired by mimosas and it is absolutely freaking delicious. Again, cannot say enough good things about this. Also, for those of you who are looking to get real turned up, it's 6.5% alcohol for this thing. And that's uh, more than your little white claw. So even if there are no laws, this tastes so much better. Now, the next thing that I love to drink this summer, my tried and true trusty Michelob Ultra. Now I do have a funny story about Michelob Ultra. First of all, it's twist off, so love that. Now, my funny story about Michelob Ultra. In college, this is the only beer that I like to drink and everyone made fun of me for it. They called it mom beer because it is 2.6 carbs, 95 cows. It's also not that high in alcohol. You know, it's what some people like to call pee beer or water beer, whatever. You get it, it's a light beer, I love it. And sometimes I would have a hard time finding it in bars. And yet, I just wanna say that after I graduated and I went back and visited my sister who thankfully went to the same college as I did, all of the young girls were drinking Michelob Ultra. So I don't wanna say that I brought Michelob Ultra to Mizzou, but Someone had to make it cool. Now let's get into the non-alcoholic drinks. All right, so the first non-alcoholic drink I'm gonna show you how to make is something I completely made up on my own experimentation. I'm gonna call it a watermelon spritzer. Yeah, we're just gonna go with it. You need a Trader Joe's sparkling watermelon juice. This stuff is the absolute bomb.com. It is so delicious. So we're gonna take a little bit of that. Now, I don't like things that are too sweet and I do find that when you just drink this straight out of the can, it is a little sweet. So we're going to dilute it a little bit with that Topo Chico that I showed you earlier. So we're going to fill this up about halfway. It's also a super cute color. Then we're going to top it off with Topo Chico. And because I love a little citrus and we need a little more color, a little squeeze of lime, toss it in. It's super cute too. It is just so refreshing. If you love watermelon, you are going to love this. All right, the last non-alcoholic drink I'm gonna show you how to make is something my family loves to call sassy water. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a cup, 
You are going to cut up a cucumber. I'm using a Persian cucumber because I just think that they pack a little more cucumber flavor. So go ahead and slice it up. You're gonna take your sliced cu <clears throat> cucumber, put it in. I used about half of the cucumber for a serving, but you can also make this in a pitcher form and use two Persian cucumbers. You can use a regular cucumber, you can use an English cucumber, whatever you're feeling. But because I'm only making one serving, I just used half of the Persian cucumber. Then you're gonna take a lemon. I love lemon, so I'm gonna go ahead and put two slices in there, boom. And then you're going to add some mint. Now I am not a huge mint person. Literally, there's a restaurant that we go to here in Los Angeles and I order a watermelon mojito, no mint. So I am not a mint person, but in sassy water, it doesn't bother me. Maybe because I control how much I put in. So I'm just gonna put in a little bit, about this much mint. So we got that much mint going on in the glass. Then I'm going to take my cold water that I already have. Shout out to the Brutos and cheers. My favorite thing with sassy water is to just make a big pitcher. Definitely put in all of the things, your cucumber, your lemon, your mint. Some people also add ginger and just let it sit in the fridge for about an hour to two hours. Let everything kind of diffuse and it just makes a delicious water. And for someone who struggles drinking water, like yours truly, this is the best way to make sure you're getting enough water throughout the day. Before I go, I do wanna mention that yes, Shams is obviously included on this list, but I don't consider it a summer exclusive. I drink Shams really any season, any time of day, any day of the week. I mean, really Shams is just an all around thing for me, so I didn't feel like it needed to be said, but just in case there's any confusion, yes, of course, Shams is always on that list. All right, you guys, those are my favorite summer sips, all the things that I will be sipping on this summer. I hope you liked them. Please let me know which one was your fave down there in the comments. Also, if you decide to make any of these drinks, please make sure to take a picture and tag me on Instagram. I love communicating with you guys on there. It's one of my favorite things. And I also just love seeing you take the things that you learn from my videos and implementing them into your lives. So if you do that, please let me know. I want to see. While you're at it, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget that notification bell. If you could also please share this video with a friend, I would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. You guys, thank you so much for continuing to support me on this journey. Now it's time to, uh, start sipping. So cheers.